You don't stop when you fall down. You don't stop when you fail. You stand and you continue going. You know, when you read Nehemiah, of all provocation and opposition of Sambalat and the Tobiah, Nehemiah could have easily throw in the towel and give up. Nehemiah could say, you know, I'm tired of this, I'm going to palace, I don't have to deal with this. Nehemiah had a fantastic, amazing life in, in palace. Nehemiah had everything free. But Nehemiah chose to go and build the wall. And this, this Sambalat and the Tobiah, they dedicated almost all their life to stop Nehemiah. People who is against you, people who don't like you. Sometimes they say things that you have to say, God, have mercy of me. God, hold me for me not to start responding to them. You know what they said to Nehemiah? They said, the wall you're building, even if a, even if a fox, like fox, the animal, like cat, even if a fox climb on a wall, the wall will fall down. Nehemiah could have easily started, started responding to them, picking fight with them. But Nehemiah, Nehemiah chose to be persistent and kept moving and building the wall. That is the secret. The spirit of persistence is what set achiever apart from the dreamer. Everybody can dream. Actually, dream is free, but only persistent make it in life. Persistence is unshakable belief in your goal and your dream. It is the courage to stand against any resistance and never back down in the face of adversity. That's no matter what happened. You never back down. You look up and you know that the spirit of persistence that God put in you will guide you, will, will push you in every barrier. And every door that is closed, you keep pushing, you keep moving till the door opens for you. When they tell you that it cannot be done, persistence will whisper in your ear. Try one more time. The spirit of persistence inside of you will, will tell you it's not the end. Try again. Persistence means that you make people who is against you so tired that they become your friend. And when they see your relentless pursuit, they cannot help but start respecting you and your dedication. Persistence person does not take no as the answer. They kept coming back. You know, just like that woman in Bible, in Luke chapter 8, 18, she had a burning desire for justice. For a while, the judge was denying, was saying no to her. But you know what happened? She was coming and she never gave up. She was coming day after day. She was coming on Monday. She was coming on Tuesday. She was coming on Sunday. She was coming on Saturday, on Christmas Day, in Jesus' birthday. She was coming every day knocking his door. Morning and afternoon, she was coming and knocking his door every single day. And you know what happened? The judge got tired. The man got tired. He said, you know, give to her. Give to her what she wants. Because one day, she might start beating me. Give to her. Give to her what she wants. So she can stop disturbing me. God wants you to have the same tenacity like that woman. God wants you to declare, I'm going to be persistent. That's no matter what happened, I'm going to keep moving. That's no matter what door or close, I'm going to keep moving. That's no matter how many they say, no, I'm going to keep moving. God wants you to declare that it is your life. Even when it seems impossible, know that with God everything is possible. Even when there's no way, God will make a way for you. You see, persistence people sometimes, they are irritating. But they are the one 
who have lasting impact. They are the ones who do things. They are the ones who create things that change all their life and all our life. They keep coming. They keep pushing back. It doesn't matter how, ma how many times you tell them no. They keep, they keep pushing. They keep changing. They keep challenging every limit that life put in them. Eventually life will say yes to them and they say yes. And they say thank you God. That's what God wants you to do. God wants you to keep moving. God wants you to keep challenging all the limits that society, the system put in you. Say no to it. Be persistent. I challenge you today. Don't be defeated by a single no. Every no that you get, you are getting closer to where you want to be. Keep trying. Keep coming every single day. Till life finally say yes to you. And when life say yes to you, that will be the that will be the moment of your glory. That's when you will use that as a testimony. To say that does not matter how many times life say no to me. With God, I kept pushing. With God, I kept moving till the day I said yes. They said no to, to, to Joseph, trying to put him in jail. But Joseph kept pushing. They said no to Jesus, trying to kill him. But after day, he raised back. After three days, he raised and he came back stronger, powerful. And no one could stop him. Even if they tried to bury you, even if they tried to bury your dream, even if they tried to stop you, be persistent. Use the spirit of persistence and the comeback. Even if you don't see the result in the first day. Even if you don't see the result in the second day. Even if you don't see the result in the third day. Keep going down and coming back. Keep going down and coming back. After seven days, they will be tired. They will say yes. Life will say yes to you. Keep coming back.